here's where things stand right now. Yankees with 19 games to play. They're up by two and a half in the wild card over the A's, and the A's have a commanding lead for that second wild card over Seattle. So let's talk, Jack, about strength of schedule and where the Yankees stand versus the A's, because the Yanks need to keep pace to keep them off their tail. They face the Twins, Jays, and then back in the division, Red Sox are still in the division, O's and Rays. And by the way, Rays have won 16 of 19. That could be tough. Yeah, when you look at that schedule, Bob, and the fact that the strength of schedule is over 50% wins against their opponents, chiefly that goes to the Red Sox. They play the Red Sox six more times. We know the Red Sox have the best record in Major League Baseball, so the Yankees always knew those games were going to be important. That's what really lifts up the strength of schedule there, and you're right. The Rays, four more games against the Rays, that could be dicey for the Yankees, too. Now, here's the A's schedule. They face the Orioles, Rays, Angels, Twins, and Mar so all teams, or four of the five that are, or, no, I'm sorry, sorry, three of the five that are under 500, they have the sixth easiest rated schedule in Major League Baseball. So that favors the A's, and the A's have been playing really good ball over the past couple months. Right, best record in baseball since mid-June. As we look at their schedule, one thing to note, the Yankees and A's have three common opponents, the Rays, the Orioles, and the Twins. The difference are the A's play the Angels and the Mariners, while the Yankees play the Red Sox and the Jays. And, Bob, we can crunch all these numbers as we should yeah. that's what our job is but I think if you're the Yankees or if you're the A's you're focused on how is your team playing at that moment we can look at those numbers we can try and forecast we can try and predict well the Rays are going to be a lot tougher on the nights where Snell pitches so it's really about getting your house in order and playing better right now the A's have been playing better than the Yankees have the Yankees have to make sure they can put that stiff arm up and prevent them from leapfrogging them for that first home field uh, for that wild card and the home field edge. All right, so my follow-up question is, how do Aaron Judge and Roldis Chapman factor in, or do they here down the stretch? Yeah, I think they do. Meredith just talked about what is going on with Judge, some encouraging signs from the fact that he took five rounds of BP. We are going to see Judge again in the regular season. We don't know the exact date yet. We don't know if he'll head to AAA and get some at-bats there in a rehab assignment because Scranton is obviously still alive, but you will see him, and I think that's part of the Yankees feeling better about themselves, Bob, is getting whole. Didi Gregorius back at a full-time spot right now. They're waiting for Sanchez to kind of come along with his offense. They have missed Judge so much because of what he does for that lineup. And then you mentioned Chapman again for the bullpen. You're not whole until you get Chapman back because he's, he's your guy at the end of games. I think if all that happens for the Yankees, you're feeling a lot better about yourself at the end of the season and heading into a potential wild card game. All right.